Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my June favorites. Is June. What the heck? So I just thought I'd hop on here and share some of my favorites with you guys. It has been a hot month here in Colorado, like 90s, 90 to 100 every single day. It's too much for me to handle. I hate it. Oh my God, get me out of here. But June has been a great month. I actually started my new job. So let's just get on in to my favorites for the month. I don't have too many, but I do have a couple. First favorite I have is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I have been using this non-stop. It only came out like about halfway through the month, but I'm gonna throw this in there because it's so good. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. It wears on my skin so well throughout the day and the coverage is almost like a foundation. Like this is not a BB cream. This has really good coverage. I have been loving this for this month and I'm pretty sure this is going to be my favorite foundation BB cream thing for the summer. It's really lightweight but it's really matte and keeps your skin looking really good all day long. It says oil free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin and lasts all day. I agree with all of those. I think this is such a good find. I know everyone is like going crazy over the L'Oreal Pro Glow but for me since I'm oily I would rather stick to the matte side. I'm super happy this came out the last month because this is kind of what I was looking for in a foundation for the summer. Next I have a powder. This is from MAC and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. This has been my saving grace for foundations that don't match me. I struggle so much with buying another foundation just for the summer when it's only like three months. So I bought a skin finish in Medium Plus that is a little darker than my natural skin tone. And so if I have a lighter foundation, I just Kind of put this on top and it kind of neutralizes everything with my body or vice versa this area is not tan but my shoulders and stuff are so it looks a little odd when i try to match my foundation to like my arms or my it just it's confusing my skin is in a confusing state right now so it's been really helpful to have a darker powder to be able to neutralize and match everything up so and it looks like skin it doesn't break me out I think it looks so pretty on I don't know why I didn't start using this before the next favorite I have is a Milani product this is the Amore matte lip cream and loved I'm pretty sure that I shared this last month maybe I don't no. I've been wearing this almost every single day that I wear a lipstick. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's a little darker on than in the tube, but I love the formula. The smell is like vanilla icing. It smells so, so good. And the formula is really great. It doesn't sink into fine lines too much. And I think that it just looks absolutely beautiful. I love the color and it's just kind of like a dark neutral that I didn't really have before. The next two products are brushes and I got these. I actually placed an order on Mac. So they had a sale going on on their site that was 15% off. So I figured I'd bite the bullet and get a couple brushes that I have been wanting for so long long. The first one is the MAC 217. You have heard this. Pretty sure you're sick of it, but I'm not because it's really, really great. I love how thin it is. I think that it's such a pretty brush and I love the goat hairs on it. I think it applies products really, really nicely and precisely. And I just, this is something that was missing from my collection. So I figured I would buy it. And the second brush that I got was this MAC 137. It looks like this. It's a tapered highlighter brush. So like for the top of the cheekbone. You think that this would apply highlight really heavily, but it totally doesn't. This brush is so flimsy. It's not very dense at all. It applies for more of a natural highlight. So it doesn't really pack too much product on the face, which I really like. I like having a little bit more of a natural glow to the skin rather than a, I've described it before like this, a zebra stripe on your face. This is perfect for those days that you really don't wanna have too much makeup on. You just kinda wanna have a slight little glow of highlight on your cheeks but this is a goat haired brush as well and it's so soft and I just have been loving this and it really does a good job at blending out the product that you put on your face so really really like this brush by the way this was like $35 with the discount so 
MAC is expensive. The last product I have to talk about is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Face Palette. And yes, you've heard all about it, but it's so good. I have been loving Amaretto and Prosecco Pop. I think Prosecco Pop is a little bit too yellow on the skin if you're really, really fair. But if you do have a slight tan, it looks absolutely beautiful. So I did a review, it's up on my channel. I'll have it linked below. I just think that this is such a beautiful, amazing product that is really mirrored and I can't show it to you guys. This is the only highlight I've basically been wearing for the entire month. Well, and I love Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop mixed together. I'm just really happy with quality of the products that are in here. I think Jaclyn Hill did such a good job coming up with the colors and the finishes and stuff. It's so, so good. So those are all the favorites I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so you keep up on my recent videos. I do post twice a week during the summer only during the summer let me know what your favorites of the month were down below in the comments and i will see you guys in my next one bye hello my youtube beauties and welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about my top five favorite high-end highlighters you know all those high-end brands that you don't find at the drugstore if you're interested in seeing my top five favorite highlighters